In these problems, we're looking at both the interior angles of polygons and also the exterior angles. And there's some things um, that we should just review here. Remember, let's just look at a, a triangle as the simplest kind of polygon. The interior angles, of course, are these guys inside. An exterior angle you get when you just extend one of the sides, and it's that angle right there. So, one formula I think you already know would be for the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. And that's going to be the number of sides minus 2 times 180. And then there's another uh, formula that's useful, and this works with regular polygons, and it's the exterior angle is 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So that's all there is to it, and that'll give you an exterior angle. Now remember, this works with regular polygons. So it, a regular triangle would be an equilateral triangle. So 360 divided by the number of sides would be 3. You'd get 120. So this angle would be 120. And that makes sense. In an equilateral triangle, this angle is going to be 60. You know these two are going to be supplementary. 60 and 120 equals 180. All right, so that's a little bit of information that's going to help us with these problems. Let's go ahead and try solving them. This first one says, find the measure of one of the interior angles of a regular polygon with five sides. Well, I've got a formula here for the sum of all of the interior angles, and I'm going to use that and then just divide by the number of angles to get uh, one of those angles. It's a regular polygon, so they're all going to be the same. Now, this one's got five sides, so I simply, to find the sum first, I plug that in there, 5 minus 2 times 180, so that's 3 times 180, so the sum equals 540 degrees, but there are five sides, so, or sorry, five angles, so um, I divide that by five, and I get 108 degrees. So for a regular pentagon, I'm going to get an angle of 108 degrees for my interior angles. All right, let's look at the next one. This one says, find the number of sides of a convex polygon if the measures of its interior angles have a sum of 6,840. This might look a little different than problems we've done so far, but it's really not much harder. We're still going to use that same formula, the sum equals the number of sides minus 2 times 180. But we already have the sum, and what we're looking for is the number of sides. Find the number of sides. So we'll solve this for n. Let's plug in the information we have. S is 6,840, and then we have n minus 2 times 180. What I want to do is distribute the 180 here. So I'm going to multiply that through. So we get 6,840 equals 180n minus 360. Now to solve for n, I want to get the variable alone on one side. So I want to get rid of this negative 360. I'm going to get rid of it by doing the opposite. I'm going to add 360. Got to do that to both sides. Over here, the 360s will disappear. And over here, I get 6,840 plus 360, which is 7,200. And now, to solve for n, I divide both sides by 180. And that gives me n equals 40. So if you were wondering what polygon has interior angles that add up to 6,840 degrees, it's a 40-sided polygon. All right, one more. This one says, find the measure of one of the exterior angles of a regular polygon with eight sides. So that's good, it's regular, because our, our formula works for regular polygons. And remember, our, the exterior angle was 360 divided by the number of sides. Not too tough. They're telling us the number of sides, 8, so we just take 360 divided by 8 and we get 45 degrees. So that's a little bit about uh, interior and exterior angles of polygons.